Hey everybody, I came out today to finally record some updates on Six Flags Great America and their construction updates during the offseason. Yeah, I just wanted to provide some commentary on some of the footage and kind of do a little bit of analysis. So this first area that I filmed, you can see that uh, clearly Hangover is no longer on the skyline. It should be, you know, right behind this building right here. Um, and you can also kind of see in the distance that uh, Revolution and Daredevil Dive, of course, are also gone. But really, there's not a whole lot to see in this area. Um, the parking lot is set up to look at uh, the, the Holiday Lights event right now. Um, but not too much that I could see. They aren't you. They don't have anything yet in the uh, storage lot area where they kept Max Force Track. So I'm kind of not expecting to see anything there, at least for a little bit. Um, it's a little bit early for parts to start coming in, but overall, yeah, nothing too big. This next footage kind of gets into our more important stuff. First thing we can see over here, we'll go into a little bit later, um, but you can see hangover pieces in the parking lot. They look fairly intact. I can't really tell um, if they were cut out or unbolted and taken out gracefully, but it kind of looks like it was taken out gracefully. And then over here, we kind of pan over to the construction site and you can see, yeah, hangover is gone. There's still a little bit left. Um, you can see that they're actively still taking stuff out. The, there's still a crane on site. The sign is still up, but you can see that the main base frame along with one car from the train is still on the track along with that one last piece of track. But not a whole lot left of that. Um, of that ride good riddance it kind of it looks like to me that it'll be relocated um but who knows that ride was barely ever open and uh seemed to have some reliability issues so we'll see if we ever see that again if we look over in the parking lot over here we can see yeah sections of hangover track you can see one two three pieces of the train over there along with the rest of the track um you know the purple and orange are very noticeable that's for sure clearly it's sitting in the parking lot for now um what's interesting is that over here sitting in the uh the junkyard is still uh, king chaos so both king Ca chaos and its replacement can be found in the parking lot right now which is very interesting along with shockwave station one thing i wasn't able to find was any evidence of the hardware for revolution i don't know if that ride was already scrapped or if it was sold off to someone else but given that it was a bit of an older ride i could definitely see it being scrapped but maybe we'll see it pop up at another park elsewhere we can kind of see an overview of the main construction site which is really nice to see um you can see that uh revolution has been completely annihilated it seems like they left one small building but the games gallery, the shop that was there, the queue, the ramp, everything is completely gone and decimated along with a building across the way. And over here, you can see that the foundations for Sky Striker, uh, while they haven't been poured yet, it looks like they've been dug out in these four areas right here. The entrance building for both Daredevil Dive and American Eagle are gone which is interesting. I don't think American Eagle's going anywhere, uh, at least this year, so maybe they're gonna give that another new entrance. Um, that would be cool, but no clue on that one. Overall, you know, the remnants of the Aero antique cars that were over here are completely gone now. The foundation locations give us a good idea of how Sky Striker is going to be positioned and it'll look real great right next to X-Flight and American Eagle. The, the red, white, and blue in the area will look fantastic all together, I think. And overall, yeah, a lot of work getting done. I wasn't able to spot any hardware on site for Sky Striker, um, so I'll have to come down and see it a little bit later. Overall progress looks strong and I'm excited to ride Sky Striker next year. Hopefully something can replace Revolution sometime soon as well.